We're discussing here the luminosity profile example. So luminosity profile, uh, external luminosity profiles like this are available only for Substance Designer. And basically they enable inputs like this where we can connect curve nodes to determine the luminosity variation of each component along their length. So to do this, like for component one, we're going into component one luminosity and we enable here the use luminosity profile, set it to yes, and then this opens this input to which we can connect a curve. So then the curve, we can modify it like this. So at the top of the curve, this is the high uh, luminosity and this is here at the end of the curve and here this is the beginning of the curve, high luminosity and low luminosity. And like this, we can define whatever changes, whatever variation we want. And here there are various examples. We can even make a dashed curve like this, but there are other ways to make dashed curves that do not require external luminosity profile that we'll see into another video. There is another way to define a luminosity profile. This is using the ES curve shaper. So this node is uh, included in the ES shape package and it enables to create the same output as a curve node, but using parameters instead. So to see how it works, we're going to add here a cross section node and plug the output of the curve shaper into the cross section so we can better see the curve. So I'm going to reset here the curve shaper. And so we have here a flat curve by default. So we have three parameters there, the beginning, middle, and ending. So with the beginning, we can shape the beginning of the curve, the ending, the end of the curve, and the middle section, we can raise it or lower it here with the middle parameter. So in the beginning, we have the near, far, length, and transition. So let's see how they work. If I increase here the near, this is going to increase the height of the curve at the beginning. And I can also decrease it like that. Then there is another point which is called far, which is increasing or decreasing the curve a little bit farther than the beginning. Using the transition here, I can set up the distance between the near point and the far point. And using the length, I actually control the whole length of the beginning. So here the beginning is from this to this point. If I increase the middle, the middle is now about here. I can increase the length like this, and the middle will be after the length. So in the same way I'm doing this, I can also shape the ending. It's exactly the same principle. So the near is the one which is close to the end. The far is another point which is a little bit here, and I can tell the distance between the near and the far using the transition. And the length is the length of the whole ending space. So this way we can shape a curve that we can pass as a profile to ES shape, which is going to be using it for the luminosity profile. So you may use this curve shaper if you want to automate things, because the curve node, you cannot control it from the outside. But here, since we have only parameters, we can have control from another graph or when we want to automate the creation of curves.